Well, great, Mr. Sen, you gave us this solubility table, but how exactly do I use it? Well, here we go. On the Going down the left-hand side, we see that we have the positive ions. So down here, aluminum through zinc, those are all positive ions. And across the top up here are all negative ions, anions, acetate through sulfite. And essentially, you just have to match a positive ion with a negative ion for whatever compound you have, and it'll tell you whether or not something is AQ, aqueous, which means it will dissolve in water, or S means it's a solid, it does not dissolve in water. And when that happens, that's what we call a precipitate. So if I mix two aqueous compounds like we've been doing in the 10 test tube mystery lab, and if one of the products has a little S in its box, that means that was the precipitate. So for example, one of the compounds we used in the lab, the 10 test tube, was aluminum nitrate. So aluminum is here, nitrate is here, and when I look in the square, it says AQ, aqueous. And that makes sense. All of the compounds we used in the lab were dissolved in water, aqueous. Uh, another example, we had silver and nitrate, also in the same column, and that too was aqueous. So again, all of the compounds that we used in the lab were aqueous. They, they will dissolve in water. All right, so how can we use this to predict which one is our precipitate? Well, one of the reactions we did involved hydrochloric acid reacting with silver nitrate. And when we played mixy-mixy with those two chemicals, we created two products, double replacement reaction. So hydrogen was with chloride. Hydrogen now goes with nitrate. So one of our reactants is HNO3 nitric acid, and the other reactant, silver, goes with chloride. And so we get silver chloride. And you can check the charges and make sure those formulas are correct, but all of these are plus one and minus one ions, so those are correct. So I can look on my chart now, and when I look for HNO3 nitric acid, here is hydrogen, NO3 is nitrate, and when I look in that square, it's aqueous. So that is not the precipitate. So I look at silver chloride, and when I look in that box, ta-da, there's an S. And so that means that was the precipitate that was formed. All right. I hope that this helps you figure out what you need it for, whether it be for the makeup assignment or to figure out what the precipitates were in the 10 test to mystery. Good luck.